this is a review of my common man reference bible now this is an update of this bible i have been using this bible when did i get this bible in july i got this bible in july of last year 20 2020 now the gold's wearing off a little bit on the spine not too much but just a little you notice it a little and i've used this bible constantly the the cover's got a really nice grain on it now and i've done nothing special with the cover i haven't i don't roll my covers or anything like that it's just the way it's gone and because i have a habit of doing that with it as well so you've got that got it sort of forming around the around the text block itself now inside the liner is look at the covers inside it's looking good there's no tears in it i have i did put extra i did put i did take the the, the original ribbons out and added beresford ribbons to it i had three of them to it um they are extra long i like the ribbons extra long now it hasn't fallen apart here as you can see it's all good i have this this is the fifth edition and it doesn't have lined paper in it because it has these study things at the back so i actually added a couple of lined pages because i actually use the lined pages in bibles so i i just added a couple i mean these are done with um with a glue stick that you can but then it's not permanent so you, you can take them off if you want to or you can just leave them on i do write on the stock card as well so i have a few notes here written on here i use a micron i use the micron pens and i use the 005s they're the ones i like and they're the ones that that i just use i use these in all my on in all my bibles and i also use these ones as the highlighters in my bibles as well and i will also use just a mechanical pencil sometimes as well now there'll be notes of using the pens using those those pens I just showed you plus that pencil now I've got my notes up here and highlighted the paper is is thin in this Bible but I find that those 005 microns do not go through don't bleed through my my Bible now the the yellows the the highlighters you can actually see them through now as you can see that's you can, you can see through but that actually hasn't bled through the paper now it does you think oh man how could you write on that and see the other side well you actually can i was quite surprised because i've written here and then you can still read that now like it has had a bit of heavy use in some parts with with writing and underlining and whatever else but um okay right there the yellow the yellow as long as you're not too heavy with your highlighters you're not it's not too bad so it's supposed to come through here now i was watching a video last night that scott atwood did in the proverbs 19 he did on um he couldn't find these references but i've color coded them <laughs> so i've got one here and then i've color coded it here see same color and i've just color coded with these mechanical pencils i just use these to color code them I've got a pile of them so i just use see and i've got the four so i quickly look up here four there it is there see and there's blue for the five and there's the five okay so it's not like one is all pink or two is all purple or whatever else because as here is five is blue and over here five is purple i've just color coded them to this page that i've done that with those notes now some of the notes you're not going to agree with and and that's cool because you're not supposed to agree with everything anyway some from other people but um his cross references are phenomenal i've never come across a bible that's had such great um references in it cross references in it now you can see i've got some more markings and nothing has bled through so and like i said i've used the site see here we go here see how you can see through but i can still read that and if you go the other side you can still read them 
Mm -hmm. As you can see, it is it is stitched. There's no crinkling in this. There was a little bit of crinkling when I got it, like the paper crinkled, but the more you use your Bible, the, the, that crinkling goes away, which is a shame because I actually like the crinkling. And as you can see, I put subheadings in my Bible. This one didn't, you know, because I like the subheadings, so I know where I'm going with it. It's not all subheaded because I haven't gone through the whole thing. See, I've got numbers. I've got a whole heap of notes up there and stuff. Um, I think Matthew might be my best bet to show you. See, so I've got notes here, notes up the top. So you've even got all here for notes. Notes. Now, no, look, you, you can see through. You can see that you know the the ghosting part underneath it, but you can still see. See, I've got notes here, but um, and and I've written on top of this. And you can still see that quite clear and same over here see quite clear you can still see that quite clear like i said the paper is quite thin um the common man reference bible the third edition apparently has better paper in it and that one is they they he actually still sells that one on his on his site now it is not red letter as this one's red letter I mean, it all depends. If you want a red letter one, then I would sort of go with the five, the, the fifth edition. But if you want a black letter one, I would go with the with the third edition, as it's also got better paper. It's supposed to be thirty six GSM paper in the in the third edition. So depending on if you didn't like this much of the ghosting and you don't like red letter, then go with the third edition. But like I've got the fifth edition, it's red letter, and I don't mind it. It's actually the red's not too bad in this. It's not it's not eye popping red. It's not a Cambridge red, but it's a good red. And it's held. This one's held up quite well. Like I said, I've got quite a few notes in in Matthew, and also if we go a bit further on, see, nice and clean still. Like I said, I haven't I've only had this a few months. I've got cross. I've got subheadings in here here we go we've got some more notes in here and like I said and, and, and because every page every book starts on a new page you still have all this room here for notes if you want to write note, more notes in or you can add paper like I've did at the front, you can just add a sheet of paper inside here. Now some some will be marked in pencil up here. I will go back later on and put them in pen when I go through again. See more notes. Um, here we go. We highlighted here, and it hasn't gone through at all here. You see, not at all. There it is there, and right here about. Here. Oh, I can't even see it. Where is it there? It's actually here. And you can't see that yellow at all. But you don't have a problem seeing that yellow there. So I don't think I would use the purple in these ones. Um, I'd be a bit... Uh, yeah, the purple might be a bit too dark for this. I haven't used it. But you could use the micron purple if you needed purple and just underline it with that. Like I said, these microns are really good. They're not, they're not bleed through at all. I've got some more notes. See, these are in pencil, but I'll go back and put them in. Put them in, in that micron pen later on. Because sometimes I do them in pencil because, you know, you make spelling mistakes and everything like that. So you go back and correct them when you do it in pen. Same here. See, more pencil. But I'll go back. I've used the colours, the highlighters. See the green. See, you can't even. Can't even. You can just see a little bit. But there's, like I said, there's no bleed through. Even though it's cheap, not cheap, but even though it's thin paper, I haven't had a problem with it. You know, really coming through. And writing on the other side of it. But I guess if they made this with a bit of paper, it'd be a lot thicker, um, a lot thicker Bible, I guess. 
but it's thick enough as it is. I mean, I, I don't know, a little bit extra, you know, a bit, bit thicker paper would be a lot better. I don't think I've got more. Oh, yeah, I do. I've got them in Jane's. See, no problems with any of it bleeding through or making a mess. Feed them. See, I haven't had major dramas with it all. You've got John. See, I've highlighted all this. Notes. And it hasn't come through, see? It does look a little bit worse on the, when you're filming. But, you know, none of that's bled through. There is show through, but none of it has bled through. So. Same with down here, you see, none of it has bled through. Show through, but no bleed through. Well, that's my, my update review on my Common Man's Reference Bible. I will be, I do have a couple of other, um, that looks pretty cool, that. It's a really nice soft leather, on. Eh? It's actually lambskin, see. I will be doing an update as well on my Cambridge wide marg margin and also I've got a note takers one here as well. I'll also do an update on that one for you as well and show you the show you how they handle with with notes and stuff like that written in them. But mind you, these are the only pens that I actually use in my Bibles. Like I use this mechanical coloured pens. I've got a few of those different colours. The Micron 005s, I use those. I use the Zebrites Bible Highloaders. And there's the number, it's a green. And I use a mechanical pencil. So, I've had no problems with them and I use these on all my Bibles. These are the best ones I've found that, that, that work for me. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that helps you. And yeah, as you can see, it's not falling apart at the back either. I'll just show you that too. And at the back here, see, there's no tape, no nothing. It's all in good condition. I do look after my Bibles. Um, when I finished, I just put it in this box here, which just sits up here. See, that's what I do with it. That's where this one stays on my desk. So. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope that helps, and God bless.